Hi, I'm Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology, and today we're going to talk about setting up two-factor authentication on all your social media accounts. You may be asking yourself, what is two-factor authentication? Two-factor authentication is when a website requires a second form of identification. Typically, they send a text or a message to your cell phone and you put that information back in to verify that you are the person that you say you are. Basically, the first factor is that you know the password to get on and the second factor is that you have possession of your cell phone. So why do I need two-factor authentication and why is it important to me? As I mentioned in a previous video on complex passwords, which I'll link below, often the uh, websites that you hear that would get hacked what they do, what the bad guys do, is they hack a website. Let's just take uh, LinkedIn's example from a few years back. They get your password from that LinkedIn account, and they then try and use that same password on all your other accounts in an automated fashion. So I think every day they're trying Amazon, they're trying Facebook, they're trying all of your other accounts or all your other possible accounts with the same username and password that they used that you used on the hacked account. So they do that in a really um, automated fashion, and they hack in your account. So you may wonder. How did they ever get my Facebook account and hack into my account? Typically, they've got that, those credentials from another hack somewhere else, and they got those, that information off the dark web. So what will happen is, if you have two-factor authentication uh, uh, enabled, and let's just say that your, uh, your LinkedIn account got hacked, well, if they try to use that on your Facebook account, when they go to log in with that username and password, it will give them a, a, a notification that an email has been sent or a text has been sent to your cell phone. Well, obviously they will never get that text. You will get that text and you'll go, what happened there? But the bad guy won't be able to get that, use that information and never log in. So it's a way to keep your, your compromised passwords across all of your social network um, from being used against you. What's more common now as well is that our personal and our uh, professional uh, LinkedIn or Facebook or you name it, accounts are linked together. So if you're the administrator of your professional or your, or your business's account, your personal account, if it gets hacked, they will be able to log in and, and, and grab the information from your professional account as well. One of the objections to setting up two-factor authentication or uh, complex passwords in general I get from people is that it's going to be too complex or it's going to bug me all the time and it's going to want me to uh, use my phone to log into my Facebook every time. That's crazy. I don't want to do that. Um, but the way these things work is they're only going to do it from when you log in from a new location or a suspicious login. So um, maybe once a month, maybe every time you try a new computer, uh, every time you change something in your account, it may ask you for that authentication. But it's not going to ask you for it on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so now that you know that you need to set it up, how are we going to go about setting it up? I'm going to jump into the computer real quick and we're going to go through um, how to set it up on the major accounts. And down below, I'll share a little bit more comprehensive list of websites and how to set up uh, two-factor authentication to secure your account on those sites. So without any further ado, we'll jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to set up two-factor authentication on the major social media accounts. All right, so here we are. I'm logged into Facebook here and this is just your regular desktop. And all I'm going to do to enable two-factor authentication is to click the little account arrow. I'm going to go to settings and privacy. I'm going to go to settings here. And it's going to say security and login over on the left hand side. And then under security and login, it's going to say use two factor authentication. I'm going to click edit here. And we're going to go to, there's two different ways. There's an authentication app and there's a text message. Um, the authentication app is going to be an app on your cell phone like uh, Google, um, Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator or Duo. Those are the three most popular ones. Um, and the app is just going to, ha there's going to be an icon on your desktop. You just click it and there will be a rolling code in it every time you click on the Facebook, I Facebook icon there. Um, and the other one is just to have them simply send you a text uh, SMS. I'm going to do the Authenticator app for now. Uh, just to show you one, a little bit of each one. If you click use Authenticator app, it's going to come up with a QR code on the screen. Okay, we have the QR code up on the screen. I'm going to go in the Google Authenticator app real quick. And then I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to click scan QR code, aim it up at the screen. And there you go. It's already in there with a number that I can put in if I click continue. It's going to ask for that seven digit number that's on my screen right now. It's on my phone screen, I mean, and I'm going to go continue. And now it's set up. That's all there is to it. Super easy. 
Now, every time I change my login uh, or, or I log in from a different location or I log out of Facebook and back into it, it's gonna ask me that uh, for that code out of my phone. So if, if I just simply walk away from Facebook and come back, I don't typically log out every time. Um, so you'll see that it's gonna ask you basically when you log out and log back in again. It's not gonna ask you every time you necessarily go into Facebook. So that's as simple as that for Facebook. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to LinkedIn. And very similar on LinkedIn, you're gonna click the little down arrow next to me. And it's gonna be uh, settings and privacy. Go ahead and click there. And then you're gonna to go to account on this screen and then down to two-step verification. And I'm gonna go change on that. I'm going to go turn on. And I'll use the authenticator app one more time. I'm gonna go, it's gonna say, you put in your password. I use one password, so my passwords are in here automatically. And then I'm gonna to go to, this one's asking me for Microsoft Authenticator. So I'm gonna go on over to Microsoft Authenticator and I'm gonna click Microsoft Authenticator. Uh, you'll be able to see it on my screen now, on my phone screen. And I'm gonna click the little button and I'm gonna go add an account. And this is going to be, and that's gonna click in real quick. And this is Microsoft Authenticator, which is a little bit different than Google Authenticator, but they're the same, same concept. And I'm gonna go, click on that now and it's gonna give me that six digit authentication number. I'm gonna click that in 876-849, continue. And again, these numbers change, so that's not really any super security there that you're seeing. And that's it, now it's turned on. And every time I try and log in from a different location, it's going to ask me to go into Microsoft Authenticator and put in that information. So one last one, let's go ahead and hit on Twitter. Um, so I'm going to go under sit in Twitter. It's um, just under the more account under the uh, toolbar to the left here. I'm going to click more and I'm going to go settings and privacy uh, in here. Same thing. You'll see a bunch of different uh, settings. I'm going to go to security, two factor authentication. I'm going to click next on that. I'm going to click text next message on this one. It's going to say, walk me through a little wizard. Again, I'm going to have to put in my password which I save in my password program. And it's gonna ask me to verify this by sending me a code to my phone. And then on my phone, I got this code. 0387, I'm sorry, 038857. I don't want Google to remember that. I'm gonna go next. And you're all set, that's it. Every time you log in from a different place, it will, be, uh, it will request two-factor authentication. So that's it for setting up two-factor authentication. On these major uh, social media accounts, I will put a link down below to a blog where we have instructions, step-by-step -step instructions for uh, all three of these, as well as several other social media and kind of the most important sites to set up two-factor authentication. And with that, I'm gonna send it back to the presentation. I would also encourage you that beyond just the social media accounts, that you secure all your financial institutions, um, that's all your banking, financial institutions, and your major shopping sites as well. Uh, almost everybody has a two-factor authentication set up on their website now. And if they don't, at this point, they will going forward. But certainly, all your financial institutions, uh, all your bank sites, those are gonna have them as well. And obviously you want to, want to secure those. Amazon, uh, the big the big spots where somebody will, if they compromise you, they will be able to uh, steal money or steal items from you. So I highly encourage that you set that up across all of your accounts. Um, I hope you found this video of value. If you did, please like and subscribe down below. That really helps us out. And if you uh, have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, we thank you and we'll see you in the next video.